Good evening. You're probably wondering where James is. Hey! Stop it! I thought you... Stop it! I said not now! For, but you promised... I don't care what I said. I'm doing my review now. Ugh, fine. But next time, I'm getting my own show, alright? Fine. Next time. Whatever. Thank you. Sorry about that, guys. It's just that that guy's been following me around ever since I've seen the new Suicide Squad movie. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to be doing a review on it. Seriously, the hell's wrong with you people? We're bad guys. It's what we do. Nothing really matters to me. Hey there, guys. How are you? It's me, the Canadian Movie Buff, with a review of Suicide Squad. So Suicide Squad takes place after the events of Batman v Superman and now the government is wondering okay so what if the next Superman that comes along isn't quite so nice as the last one. Enter Amanda Waller who says oh hey guess what I got a bunch of lunatics and psychopaths down in my basement maybe we can use them. And they're like alright sure. Enter Task Force X also known as the Suicide Squad consisting of Deadshot, Harley Quinn, Killer Croc, Diablo, Captain Boomerang and Enchantress. First off, what you need to know is that this is a complete tone shift from Batman v Superman. Batman v Superman was very dark and dreadful and not very... It's not an uplifting movie to say the least. Here, it's... The, from right from the get-go, it's very humorous and action-packed. There's a little bit of, a mo of heavy moments here and there, but all in all, it actually works together with lots of action and wit. Now first off, I want to just say that Will Smith does a fantastic job as Deadshot. I really bought into him as a character and as a father figure, mainly because he's a father in real life. And despite him being a headman for hire, you still really want him to get back with his daughter. And also, I gotta talk about Margot Robbie as Holly Quinn. Now, when the trailer first dropped, not a lot of people seemed to like her, whether it's just of her costume design or whether it's because Margot Robbie didn't seem to suit the character. Whatever it was, that's in the past now because Margot Robbie just kills it as Harley Quinn. She's got the charm, she's got the mannerisms. She does a really fantastic job here, despite what many th people assumed at first. Can we also talk about Jai Courtney as Captain Boomerang? Jai Courtney has been in a few movies before. The Divergent series, the Die Hard series, and even most recently, the Terminator series. But unfortunately, not a lot of moviegoers like him as an actor, so his reputation in Hollywood isn't exactly the best. But he does a fantastic job here. He knocks it out of the park as Captain Boomerang. He's funny, he's charming, and right from the get-go, you're like, alright, this guy, he's interesting. If he's involved, this is gonna be one heck of a ride. And also, Jared Leto as the Joker, he does an astounding job here. Granted, he's not in the movie for very long, but I'll get to that later. But what he brings to the table as a new generation of Joker, it really separates him from Heath Ledger. I mean, he's not trying to be the new Heath Ledger or anything like that, and that's okay. Each actor who has played the Joker has brought something new and fresh, and that's what Jared Leto does. And also, try to guess what the costume on Killer Croc is. Haven't figured it out? Well, here's a hint. No CGI. That's right, his entire costume is prosthetics and makeup. The character doesn't have a lot of lines in this movie, so he has to rely a lot on facial expressions and such. To the actor who plays him, you did a fantastic job. The one character that I really liked, even though he wasn't in the trailers a whole lot, was Diablo. Throughout this movie, you learn more about him, and at first, he doesn't really seem very eager to jump into battle. And speaking of battle, the action sequences are pretty fantastic. But it's not as the same caliber as, say, an Avengers movie or a Batman v Superman, but it is still pretty fun to watch. And like I said, there's a lot more humor, and given the characters that are Deadshot, Harley Quinn, and Captain Boomerang, you're bound to get a lot of comedic elements here and there, and that's what they do. There are a couple dark moments in this movie, but they fit into the movie so well that you'll barely notice them at all. And if you were worried that the movie was going to have too much of a focus on Deadshot or Harley Quinn just because of the actors playing them, don't worry, each member gets their time in the spotlight. Granted, it does sort of lead you on a little bit, like, oh, it's gonna be about Deadshot, alright. Oh, it's now about Harley Quinn, alright. Oh, it's now about Diablo, oh, okay, we're we'll bouncing back, okay, everybody's getting their time in the spotlight. Every character got their proper development, and we were all made to love these characters. And in a movie like this, where we've never seen these characters before, it's important that they click with the audience. Especially when they tend to build an entire universe with these villains in them. I won't spoil anything here, but there is a cliffhanger ending and a mid credit scene, so stick around for that. Alright, now it's time to get into not-so-nice stuff. For starters, I said earlier that I liked Jared Leto's performance as the Joker, 
But unfortunately, he's not in the movie that much. It's kind of a bummer, really, because in the trailers, they promote him so much, and yet he's not really in the movie that much at all. That means a scene like this didn't make the final cut. The editing feels sort of a little off. Like, it suddenly jumps around a little bit from here to there. And uh, there are a couple moments where it doesn't really feel that polished. Also, even though it has a PG-13 rating in the States, but a 15 rating in the UK, and for some reason a PG rating in Canada, because, you know, standards. And while I did enjoy it, I, it had this, like, toned down feel. There were a couple scenes where they could have gone, like, all out if they wanted to, but they sort of like tone it down so they could have the PG-13 rating. Now, I don't think ratings define quality, but still, if you're going to go all out with something, you should just go all out. Granted, if it had an R rating, it probably wouldn't have broken the record for highest opening in August. Then again, Deadpool had an R rating, and look what happened there. But then also, Deadpool has kind of made R-rated superhero movies a bit of a slippery slope. If a superhero movie has the potential to be R-rated, but it's not R-rated, then people say they didn't have the guts to make it R-rated. But if a superhero movie is R-rated, they say, oh, it's only because of Deadpool. If Deadpool had come out a couple years earlier, maybe things would have been different. Maybe we could have gotten an R-rated Suicide Squad. But again, like I said, ratings don't define quality for me. I'm still hoping that we sort of get a director's cut, or at least some deleted scenes. Sort of like what Batman v Superman has done with their Ultimate Edition on Blu-ray. So, my final thoughts for Suicide Squad are this. It has a great cast, it has a lot more humor, and a different tone from Batman v Superman. It does a great job of introducing characters that nobody's ever seen. Some of them have even had their first live-action appearance. David Ayer has done a fantastic job here. I hope he comes back for the sequel. And more importantly, I hope we see more of Jared Leto as the Joker in the sequel, as well as other movies in the DCEU. So it makes together the action, the humor, the characters, the performances, and the tone, and you have this movie. Although it does have a couple issues here and there, I liked it, and I think that any fan of comic books or DC in general will enjoy this too. If you thought Batman v Superman was too too serious, you'll definitely have a much better time with this movie. In the end, I will say that Suicide Squad is definitely worth checking out at least once in theaters. Alright, so that's my review of Suicide Squad. What did you think about it? Have you seen it yet? What are your thoughts on the other DCEU movies? Are you excited for Wonder Woman and Justice League? Leave your comments below, and also if you like what you've seen here and want to see more videos like this, give that subscribe button a click. And as always, this is the Canadian Movie Buff saying, I hope you have a fantastic weekend at the movies. See ya! <laughs> ah. Sorry about that, uh, the Joker me is trying to screw up my review again. Don't worry, don't worry, he should be gone by next week.